Shafi Marco Janssen after he gets MS Dhoni's wicket in that match against Chennai Super Kings. I'll give you all those details. Or uske baad, why has Tayajul Islam snapped at a reporter? You will find out that as well in today's new episode of News Tracker with me, Nivedna Prabhu. Hi everyone, I hope you're well and of course keeping safe. Welcome to News Tracker. This is the show jahan pe we give you all the latest news in the world of cricket. Now before I begin today's video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, go ahead, press that button and without wasting time, let's begin today's video to find out all that's making news in the awesome world of cricket. One very happy guy. On one hand, of course, SRH went on to beat CSK in last evening's game. However, on the other hand, he had a dream moment because he got MS Dhoni's wicket as he debuted for SRH against Chennai Super Kings. Now, on the other hand, he finished the match only with one wicket, but he went on to explain how much this prized wicket means to him. So, what did Marco say? Let's find out. Now, Marco said, anyone will be happy to get MS Dhoni. Nervous at the start, but nice to get the opportunity. Back of a length is the most difficult to play along with your change-ups. There wasn't much swing for me, so I went for the cross-seam route. Now, all of you tell me in the comments section. Now, on one hand, of course, you know, Hyderabad fans can have a sigh of relief that they won that particular game. But Dushri Taraf, everybody out there, tell me, what is going wrong for Chennai Super Kings after this fourth consecutive loss in IPL 2022? What should they really tweak? What is definitely something that they should be looking at in the next match? Do they still have a chance? I want to know all your thoughts and analysis for Chennai Super Kings in IPL 2022. And how happy are you all SRH fans? Do you think they finally gained momentum? Definitely would you tell me in the comments below. Now, Bangladesh's Taijul Islam has been, uh, you know, breathing fire against South Africa because he went on to take 6 for 135 in that 50 over quota of his in the first innings in the ongoing fourth Elizabeth test. Now, one has to remember that uh, naturally there will be questions after his amazing performance and in an interview the same thing happened but the reporter went on to ask him how he plans to, you know, fill the void of Shakib al and that did not sit very well with Taijun and in fact he snapped at the reporter. What exactly happened? Well, let me tell you. Now, the question wasn't welcomed and Taijun felt that a comparison to Shakib Shakib was needless at that time. Now, Taijul said, don't you have any other question to ask me apart from it? Probably adding Shakib Bai's name is more saleable. Now, first of all, let's talk about Taijul's amazing performance with the fact that he's, you know, been uh, absolutely, uh, you know, like I said, breathing fire with the ball. But Dushri Taraf, do you think this was required from the reporter's end or do you think that Taijul shouldn't have snapped because maybe it was just a natural question? What is your take on it? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Well, with that, friends, this video is over here. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you don't, then let me tell you. Give it a big thumbs up. Follow all our social media handles, including our Telegram channel. Channel because there you'll find some amazing match winning combos as well as fantasy tips for your fantasy teams. So do not forget to go ahead and follow all the social media handles of Print Tracker. My name is Nivedna Prabhu. I'll be back very soon to tell you all that's making news in the awesome world of cricket. Lekin, uske liye na bhulega to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until I see you next time with a new episode of News Tracker, don't forget to take care of yourselves and most importantly, stay safe. Bye bye.